Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do some chroma keying and um, shortcut, the shortcut video editor. You can see I have two clips. I have a picture of a shark, which is going to be the bottom clip. So let's go ahead and put that on the bottom. We're going to key into this picture of a shark here. And then I have some footage of me standing in front of a green screen talking. So I'm just going to let it play for a second. You know, hit the I for in, O for out. I'm going to drag this to the timeline. And I so happen to know that I'm going to need two clips in order to do this right. So I'm going to take this again, go back to the source, and I'm going to drag it into the timeline up here. So this clip is the same clip, and it's in the timeline twice. So step one to chroma key is you want to zoom in on the clip so you can get a nice shot. So right here, you see this little button here. You can click it, and you can click, say, zoom to 200, for instance. And now I'm zoomed in. I'm going to scroll up to my head, and I'm going to highlight. I'm going to click on this clip so it's, it's selected. I'm going to go to filters, click plus, and I'm going to type chroma key and I'm going to type uh, hit chroma key advanced and I'm going to take this key color the little eyedropper I'm going to click it and I'm going to go to a spot that's going to be difficult to key out see the spot around my hair this is going to be real hard so I want to get close to the green screen around my hair or the horns here and I'm just going to click right here and in order to key it out, we need to actually move this over the area that we're keying. So don't forget to do that. If you just leave it here, it's not going to show as being keyed out. But yeah, you can see I have a little key going here. You can see the edges are very rough. See, you can mess with these settings here. And you could, you know, key it out more or less. Um, just based on sliding the settings here, but I'm going to leave them all as is. I'm going to leave them all as 20, which is where they were originally. And I'm just going to mess with the slope. So you have a selection here. You, you can select these various, these various options here, but I like to leave it on slope and messing with the slopes. You look at my hair. When I do this, you're going to see it eats into it more or less as I mess with the slope. So you just mess with it a little bit to get your hair to look good. And now we're going to zoom back out. So zoom to fit. And you can see this actually looks pretty darn good. I'm mostly keyed out. You can see right here there's some issues. By my legs there's some issues here. This isn't quite keyed out right. And this is where having the second clip comes in. See now I'm going to go to the second clip. And I'm going to highlight it. And I'm going to move it over the other clip now so it's highlighted you're gonna click you're gonna zoom in first of all so zoom to 200 we're gonna focus on the legs this time so this time we want to get our legs to key out right so I'm gonna click the plus button I'm gonna click uh, chroma key and let's see if I can spell it right which I never seem to do Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to click here. I'm going to go close to my legs. I'm going to click, eh, find a spot that's going to be a little bit difficult. Click right there. And you can see my legs are mostly keyed out now, but I'm just going to mess with the slope again to make them look a bit better. And now I'm going to have two images that are keyed out. I'm going to go back to zoom to fit. And you can see this is keyed down by the legs matter of fact let's take this this here and let's copy it right here so that way i can key it to two different places at once here you can see with this one the legs are keyed out pretty darn well and in fact actually pretty much the whole thing is it just so happened to work out that way except for up here you can see the green up here actually and in this one the legs aren't keyed out so well but the top is so what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two clips together. So if I click on this clip here and I click plus and I type crop, now I get crop rectangle. I'm going to crop out the top of it. 
Now click the transparent button right here. This is going to make it so it crops into the background. Just grab this. Get rid of all that bad looking green screen. So now all I have is a pair of legs down here. And then this other clip, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the plus button in the filters tab. Click crop, crop rectangle. I'm going to click the transparent button. But this time I'm going to crop the bottom of it out. So I'm going to get rid of my legs, all that bad green screen I have on my legs. And let's crop all this in. Let's get rid of the top here a bit where you can see where I'm connecting the green screen. All right, so now we have two clips of the green screen out. I have my upper half and my lower half. And I'm going to move my upper half up here. I'm going to take my lower half, drag it under here. And basically, the upper clip is keying into the bottom clip, which keys into the shark image. And as you can see, now it's pretty much chroma keyed out perfectly. The bottom half and the top half are working together to be chroma keyed out real well. And you, know, you can always zoom in on it too if you want to get a closer look at it. You can see it's a little bit fuzzy around the edges maybe, but it's really not bad. And you can actually do this as much as you want to, um, to key it out as perfectly as you want to get. If you layer this a bunch of times and focus on one section at a time, you can key it out perfectly every time. And anyway, uh, that's how you do a chroma key effect in Lightworks. Now, I, I would like for you to go to my video description because I have some chroma key uh, Amazon affiliate links for chroma key backgrounds, chroma key lights that will make it real easy to set up a good chroma key effect so you can pull off a good one um, every time you, you do a chroma key. So look at the video description and click on those, um, the chroma key lights, the chroma key um, backdrop, uh, the, the kit that I have because it's a really good setup and it will help you to do a great job of chroma keying. Uh, anyway, like and share the video as well and I will see you next time.